Hey, Trey, thanks for your time. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, looking back on the first matchup between you guys with you and Purdue this year, when you look at that film, kind of what sticks out to you and, and what have you kind of targeted in practice this week to kind of rectify that kind of performance happening again? Um, I think just looking back on, there's a lot of things that we have to clean up um, if we want to be able to compete with them. I mean, there's many things where that, I mean, I, even like just them just playing harder than us, that was the biggest thing I thought. Um, they wanted it more in that first game we played. Um, but I think just cleaning up some things on offense and doing some different things. Um, obviously, they, they uh, shot the ball pretty well, and Zach, Zach had a great game. But I think just playing harder and cleaning up some things on offense and then Go William, then Daniel. Hey, Trey, thanks for the time. We've heard Woody kind of talk about it, but I don't really remember you ever mentioning it. What does uh, crazy man Trey Galloway mean to you? Um, that's just a funny nickname that coach gave me. Uh, I cut, like the first year we were together, um, just because of my hair is kind of, when I'm out there playing, kind of going crazy a little bit. But like, I think just interrupting things on, on the defensive end and doing certain things that are kind of just, he considers crazy, which is funny, but uh, they kind of, they kind of all just took it and ran with it. It's pretty cool. Daniel and Jack. Yeah, Trey, um, it looked like you and Trace had a little reunion um, last night. What was that like for you watching him play? Um, and then like, I, I guess, how have your conversations, what have your conversations looked like so far with him this year? Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, I wish, I wish he got more minutes. Um, but no, it was really cool to kind of go, go down there and support him. Um, cause I know he'd do the same thing for me. Um, and he's going to, um, so he'll, he'll be back here soon, hopefully, but no, it's been, it's been good. Kind of, we talk every day, um, text back and forth, sometimes call, but it's good to kind of just hear from him cause obviously he's been through it all. And I mean, there's been times when we've been down and he texts me, I'm um, just picking me up and stuff, but no, it, it's, it's a, it's a great relationship that me and him have. Jack, then Alex. Hey, Trey. Um, just when you're playing a team like Purdue that has, you know, a guy like Zach Eady inside and then all their three-point shooters around him, what, what does that require of you guys defensively when you kind of have to, you know, keep an eye on both, you know, inside and outside and they have, you know, multiple ways that they can beat you? Yeah, I mean, they're they're number two team in the country for a reason. I mean, they, they got, obviously Zach is is so dominant um, in, the, in the paint and stuff, but they also have other great players as well that can spread you out and, and make shots and make tough ones. So I think it's it's really challenging, but I think our game plan, um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be ready to go um, and go on there and compete. And we gotta be confident um, and, and believe that we can win, which I, I believe we can. So there's there's a lot of things that we gotta focus on. And, and at the end of the day, it's come down to us playing harder than them. Um, so it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a battle. Alex and Zion. So you're in your, your fourth year in the Big Ten. I mean, you've played pretty much everywhere in, in the league at this point. What, you know, the coaches talk a lot about how difficult it is to go on the road and win, but I mean, not even specific to Purdue, but just in general, what, as a player, from your perspective, does make it so hard to to go on the road and win in this league? Um, it's a good question. I mean, I, it, it is kind of weird how it kind of works like that. I mean, there's, you see just the, the teams that have home success in the Big Ten, um, it's just, I think just the adjustment of the home crowd compared to away crowd, I, I don't really know. I mean, there's been, I think there's just, it's just been like that for so many years. And I don't know why it is, but I think just the teams that can really focus for 40 minutes on the road um, are gonna find ways to get get wins um, because there's, there's little room for error when you go on the road. Um, cause it's obviously home teams are always going to make, find ways to make runs and get the crowd behind them. But if you can go on there and kind of just weather the storm and then be, be in the, be in it with the last four minutes to go, I think there's a high chance for teams on the road to go, go win. Zion then Mike. Trey, after the first Purdue game, you mentioned how you guys just picked up a lot of unnecessary fouls and that kind of led to you falling behind. I was wondering, how do you strike the, the, balance between playing with energy and effort but not just playing recklessly and fouling yeah um i mean with them obviously zach does get a lot of fouls 
And we got to find ways to be smart and know when to foul and know when to be physical. And um, because I I think in the first game, there was a lot of, we got a lot of early foul trouble and some fouls that got them the bonus early and they made a lot of free throws. Um, And that obviously put us behind um, in in the first half of the first game. So I think just being smart and playing hard without fouling is the biggest thing for us. Um, And I, I think, if we go in there and, and, and don't foul and stay solid, um, I, I think we'll be, we'll put ourselves in position to, to be in the game. Mike, then Alex. Yeah. Hey, Trey, you've, you've evolved from, you know, kind of a role player early, early in your career to a guy that, you know, at least at times looks like you can take over games like at Kansas and Tuesday night. Like what, what would you say is the biggest challenge to make that transition and really have a mentality that, that you're kind of the guy and you want the ball? Um, I think it's just having my teammates trust me, um, and the coaches putting the trust in me to have the ball in my hands. And that's, that's been a big time thing that has, has gone well this year. Um, I think coach Woodson has really gained trust and to have the ball in my hands and to make plays for my teammates and for myself. So I think the biggest challenge was just kind of knowing when to, to do certain things and when to, um, take sh- certain shots, but. I think that that's gone pretty well. Um, and as long, as long as I can find ways to help my team win, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Alex and Mason. I mean, you mentioned this kind of on the road, you know, the teams that play for a full 40 minutes give themselves the best chance of winning. When you guys have played well at times, you've been a really good team. But the other night, obviously, against Ohio State, you play kind of two separate halves. From your perspective, what maybe was the – what's the biggest difference, like – that you can see between your team when you guys are maybe not playing well and have less energy and then like to the second half of the night I mean from someone watching that game it looked like two completely different teams I'm just curious if you can maybe put into words or explain like what the difference is what between when you guys are maybe clicking on all cylinders and when you're not yeah I think for us I think I've always said it um when we get stops on defense and are able to defend um and and for a long period of time, I think it really gives us confidence in the offensive end because when we're able to get out and run, um, that that's when we're at our best, I think. Um, so I think just getting stops on defense, and we did on the second half, we really locked in. And I, I think that was the, the thing that we were trying to focus on because we were giving up to way too many easy points. Um, and we were able to really come together um, and find ways to get stops in the second half. And then that led to easy offense for us. and we really started to flow a lot better um, because it, the, the, our confidence on defense gave us confidence on offense. Last question, Mason. Trey, you and X are obviously the, the two captains on this team and, and being in the senior backcourt, you guys have, I'm sure, developed a, a strong relationship. During some of the anthems now, when X has his arm in his brace, you kind of got your arm wrapped over his shoulder. Just can you kind of delve into a little bit of the relationship and, and how you're, you're you're kind of supporting him through his injury process? Yeah, um, I mean, it's it's definitely difficult for him. And we all know that because he wants to be out there competing with us. Um, but I've been through it and dealt with some of those injuries um, like him. So I know I know what he's feeling. Um, and it, it's, the, it's, it's probably one of the worst things ever. So I think just us being there for him because he, he, he's been a great teammate. Um, when he's been out, um, he, he's, he he could easily just go the other way because his last year and kind of just like not not be a good teammate and not not be there for his brothers. But in practice, he's 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 always talking, and in games, he's always talking. So I, I really give him a lot of credit for that for being a great teammate, um, even though he's not playing right now. So I'm really appreciative of him.